So we went through in vitro fertilization and we came in, first we were assessed to understand if there were blockages or problems. I had blocked tubes, so they thought IVF was the best way to go. And we were assessed and went forward with that procedure. It took time, um, several months. Uh, you have to do hormone stimulation and get ready for the procedure. And it took several tries, but eventually it worked. Yeah, we tried to get pregnant for about a year and a half and it wasn't working. So I was speaking with one of my friends at work and she had been here and spoke very highly of the Heartland Clinic. And I came here from her referral and moved forward after meeting Dr. Macklin. Something wasn't working. Um, we had to figure out what that was. And I was, I had always wanted to have children. Um, this, this was the best way to go about it. We needed to have a little assistance. Though everyone here is very professional, their hearts are really in what they do. It, it felt good to be here. It felt like they really cared. I believe they do. Once we were confirmed that I was pregnant, I was extremely excited, but also nervous that I didn't do anything to compromise the pregnancy. So at my age of over 40, Getting her to full term and healthy was a huge concern for me. So I did everything the doctors told me, ate healthy, you know, took the vitamins, did everything. And once she got here, I was so relieved because she was here and she was healthy. So for me, that was actually the biggest um, heartache of the whole thing was, I don't want to screw this up. I don't want to lose her. So for me, that was the hardest part was actually being pregnant, not getting pregnant emotionally. And then when she was here, then I was, of course, the crazy mother of, oh my God, is she breathing every five minutes when she's asleep and making sure she's okay and is she eating enough? And just the normal, I think, craziness of being a mom, but it's been great having her here, love it. It's been a little odd for me because it's this process that you literally make a donation once and then sit back and watch it evolve. And you watch your wife change, you watch your life change, but at the same time, you're a part of it, but you're not. At least that's how it felt to me. Um, being present, but sort of like almost in a half dream state, like, okay, yeah, this is happening, this is happening, and then boom, we have a baby, and that's when the reality really hits you. Well, again, I just think they take it so personally. A lot of them are mothers, and they watch people go through heartache and joy, and they're there for you, they support you, they feel for you. They give you good guidance. I mean, they become your friends and family in a sense. They just care deeply, which is a huge comfort when you're going through something like this. You know, I think the hardest thing about in vitro fertilization is that you come in always hoping for the best and you invest time, emotions, energy, your friends' support, your family, and you never know if it's going to work or not. We are so thankful and lucky that it worked and it took a lot of trying, but there are people out there, unfortunately, it's not, it doesn't work and it's heartbreaking and I feel for everyone, but I feel like if you don't try it and give it a shot, you didn't give it your all. And they made it easy for us. I mean, at one point we didn't think we would conceive and I was okay with that, but we were lucky and we did. I mean, I think a lot of people will put so much into the hope that it, that it will work that it could be devastating. If it, if it doesn't, and um, that takes its toll. That emotional roller coaster does take its toll, but in the end, you don't really remember that all that much. Um, you are faced with the challenges and the realities of now raising a child, and it just refocuses your entire life.